Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts. Rock painting has been a huge craft trend in the past years and today I'm going to show you how to use items from the dollar store to paint rocks. The first two items I'm going to share with you are this soap saver, which is like a little soap dish from the dollar store, and then of course these small art palettes that you can find in the craft section. I'm going to begin by painting this rock with this pretty aqua color. Frequently when you paint rocks, People are only painting the top part of the rock because A, the bottom isn't seen that much and B, it can be difficult to paint the rock without it getting messed up. Buy one of these dollar store soap savers, paint the bottom side of the rock as you'll see me doing right here, and then set the rock on the soap saver. Because it has the little nubbins that stand up from the base, there's actually very few contact points between the soap saver and the rock. Plus, air can get underneath the rock to help dry the paint. So what you end up with is a rock that's painted all the way around without any mess, and it's done with a $1 tool. Now you can see here I'm also using a art palette from the dollar store. I buy these all the time. You get, I think, either four or six of them for a dollar, and they are great for small craft projects like this where you only need a little bit of paint or you may be using several colors of paint because you can keep them separate and then wash the plastic tray when you're done. I let the rock dry on the soap saver tray and you can see it has a perfect coat of paint all the way around it. P.S. The blue glove that I'm wearing to protect my hand from the paint is from the dollar store too. You can give your painted rocks a unique finish with an item that you'll find in the kitchen section of the dollar store. And apply a little bit of craft paint. I chose to use a metallic paint for this rock. And apply it to one side of the scrubber and then gently dab the paint on using the scrubber. And you get a fun textured look for the paint really easily and really quickly. And I decided to layer a couple of different colors of metallic paint on top of my blue rock to give it a fun sort of confetti speckled appearance. I finished painting my rock by using a thin paintbrush to paint the word yay on the rock. Because I used paints that are all indoor outdoor, I don't have to do any sort of finishing on this rock. If you are using a water-based paint that is not specifically formulated for indoor and outdoor use, you'll want to coat this rock with like outdoor Mod Podge or dishwasher safe Mod Podge or some kind of acrylic sealer so that your paint doesn't all wash off when it's exposed to the elements. Next, take a hint from the nail artist here on YouTube and purchase some triangle cosmetic wedges from the dollar store. You can use these small, inexpensive foam wedges to dab the paint onto your rock to create pretty blended ombre effects. You can see here that I've painted my rock white before I go in with other paint colors. This just makes sure that the colors I apply are as vibrant as possible. So I just added a small amount of paint to the wide edge of the cosmetic sponge and I am applying similar colors right next to each other. In fact, I'm overlapping the colors a little bit so that they blend together. And I keep adding paint and blending with the sponges until the ombre looks exactly how I want it to look. When you pick up the makeup sponges from the makeup aisle, be sure to check out the dollar store's nail section as well. You can find fine tipped nail art nail polish that are perfect for painting rocks. The thin long bristles make it easy to create really pretty lines, whether you're writing sentiments on your rock or whether you're going to draw floral shapes like I did with this gold polish and the bright green polish. I found some metallic gold items at the Dollar Tree that I used to create the final rock that I'm sharing with you today. I found some gold glitter glue as well as some gold metallic temporary tattoos that I used to give a glam look to this last rock. I started by giving my rock a base coat of white and then I applied temporary tattoos in the same way you would as if you were applying them to the skin. Peel off the plastic barrier 
flip them so that the right side is touching the rock and then dampen them with a paper towel for about 30 seconds until the transfer is completely moved from the paper backing onto your rock. You have to be careful that your paint is fully dried before you apply your temporary tattoo. However, I was a little bit impatient with this first tattoo and you can see that when I peel the paper back, it actually removes a little bit of the paint along with the paper. That didn't happen with the other two tattoos because I allowed enough time for the paint to dry before I applied them. I finished this rock with some little dots of gold glitter glue all over the rock. Make sure you let this dry completely before handling. The glitter glue takes quite a while to dry. Then if you're going to place this rock outside, make sure to seal it with an acrylic sealer or a spray Mod Podge like new Mod Podge Ultra, something that's gonna protect those temporary tattoos from the elements because water will eventually wash them off if you don't seal them with some sort of clear sealant. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use dollar store supplies to do your rock painting this summer. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog maddencrafts.com and thanks so much for watching. Bye!